Hello friends, welcome to the ServiceNow world and today we'll see part 8 of ServiceNow developer interview series. So without wasting any time, let's go to the first question. And first question is, what are the different choice actions available in transfer map? So there are three mainly choice actions available in tra transfer map. Those are create, ignore, reject. So once you say like only create, ignore, reject, so maybe there is a possibility like uh, interview, next question interview will ask, just tell me what is the use of ignore, what is the use of create, what is the use of reject, any one of them they will ask. So that so that's why I have written the like little bit uh, def definition there, like create means creates a new reference field if a matching record does not exit. Ignore means ignore new records in the reference field and completes processing of all other fields in transform map and rejects it stops the transform for the entire record second question there is a requirement that you need to fetch incident and requested item table data in a single report how you can do this so when you mention uh, like reporting skills in your resume so that time they will ask some scenario based question from the reporting side so one of this the question related to the scenario based or related to the report only so in that time you will say i will create a database view which basically combines incident and requested item table then i can use this database view in report and select any of the fields from given table and fetch the report so basically what we'll do we'll create a new database view and there we'll join this incident and requested item table and then after that in that particular database view we'll use in the report and then we can fetch the data from both of the tables like that we can do let's move to the next question next question is how we can add catalog item in order guide so this is this is a very general question that interview will ask like uh, how we can add any item or how we can put the condition like uh, this item will show if the user having this role if the user having like this so that like like that they will ask so you can say like uh, by using the rule base we can add catalog item in order guide let's move to the next question next question is what are script actions so script actions are server side javascript code that is executed when an event it is listening to is triggered on the specified table just like any other server side script script actions have access to all the server side glide apis script includes and other server side resources so basically like in other words we can say that script when we want to perform any server side operations on the triggering of any event then we write the script actions so next question is what is not captured in update set basically we are not like every like what are the customization we do in do in the instance every that that are getting captured in update set but few of the things are still there which is not captured so might be interviewer interested to know about the whether are you aware about those things or not so you can say that like the the transactional data such as incident users groups email schedule job ci data records those are not captured in update set and uh, there one exceptional condition also there there one home page is there which is not captured in update set but uh, manually we can add it in the update set so that home page comes under ex exceptional condition we can say yeah now the next question is can we call event in client script sometimes uh, you, like interviewer want want to confuse you like uh, how how deep knowledge you have in the instance so they will ask this types of question so you'll say no 
we can not trigger events from the, uh, from client script so once you say this only this statement right like no we cannot trigger events from client script then they will say we can but uh, but i can show you how how to call this so in that case you can tell them like uh, we can do it by calling script include by using blind ajax call from client script so like that you can tell like complete uh, complete answer will be like that like no we cannot trigger events from the client script because like uh, event uh, we we need to use for call uh, for triggering the event we know uh, we need to use gs dot event queue method and that are that are under the uh, glide system api okay and that 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 we are using using uh, the gs object so gs object is a server side object so we can't use in the client side so you can tell like that like no we cannot trigger events from client script but we can do it by calling script include by using glide ajax call from client script yeah so in last video i have asked what is ola so ola refers operational level agreement and it describes the responsibility of each internal support groups towards other support groups including the process and time frame for delivery of their services the objective of ola is to present a clear concise and measurable description of the service providers internal support relationship so in other words we can say that like whatever the agreement we have done with other support uh, other support groups or other uh, other teams within an organization that in, in that case we are say this is the ola so next one so today's question is what do you mean by indicators in performance analytics so if you know the answer please write in the comment box and i'll give the answer in my the next video till that time thank you god bless you all